Hey there, history buffs. Today, I've got a fascinating topic for you. The Chinese Unclaimed Body Exhibit. If you haven't heard of it, this exhibit showcases preserved human bodies that were unclaimed in China. These bodies are meticulously prepared through a process called plastination, which replaces water and fat with silicone, preserving the body in lifelike detail. Now this isn't just a macabre display, it's actually a deep dive into human anatomy and the human condition. The exhibit is designed to educate visitors on how our bodies function, what different diseases look like, and how lifestyle choices can affect our health. Imagine standing face to face with a body that shows the effects of smoking on the lungs or the impact of obesity on various organs. It's a powerful, visceral way to learn about the human body. So, what's next for this exhibit? Well, there have been a lot of discussions recently. Some people are concerned about the ethics of displaying unclaimed bodies, even if it's for educational purposes. Others argue that the exhibit serves a crucial role in medical education and public health awareness. There's talk that the exhibit might expand its scope. Instead of just focusing on anatomy, future displays could include more interactive elements and digital components. Think augmented reality experiences that let you see inside a body without needing to touch anything. This could make the exhibit even more accessible and engaging, especially for younger audiences who are more tech savvy. Another possibility is taking the exhibit on a global tour. Right now, it's primarily based in China, but there's interest from museums and educational institutions around the world. Imagine this exhibit making its way to your local science center or university. It could provide a unique opportunity for people everywhere to learn more about their bodies and the importance of health. However, there are also challenges. Transporting and setting up such a complex exhibit is no small feat. There are also cultural and ethical considerations in different countries. Some places might have stricter regulations about displaying human remains, even for educational purposes. In any case, one thing is clear. The Chinese unclaimed body exhibit has sparked a lot of interest and conversation. Whether it stays in China, expands its scope, or travels the world, it's sure to continue educating and intriguing audiences everywhere. So, what do you think? Should the exhibit go global? Should it include more interactive elements? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the Chinese unclaimed body exhibit, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating history content. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the present. Thanks for watching.